All right, let's see the overall mechanism for forming things like acetals and ketals. We're only going to show this on an acetal, but the exact same chemistry applies. So this is a long mechanism, probably our longest mechanism that we're going to see for the entire semester. We'll go from an aldehyde to an acetal. And let's keep our structures pretty simple because we're going to have to draw them numerous times. Here's our aldehyde. We're going to make an acetal. We're going to make an acetal by treating this with methanol and a little bit of sulfuric acid. You just actually need a drop. It takes very little uh, cat uh, acid to catalyze this process. So these together make protonated methanol. And so that is our active acid source. And that will protonate a carbonyl. And there's our protonated carbonyl. Now we know this is a strong electrophile. And you look around, do we have any weak nucleophiles? Of course we do. We have some methanol. That methanol can attack the protonated carbonyl. I should note that all of these steps are reversible. And that's an important point. So these all can go forwards and backwards. Um, now we have uh, something that's kind of like a tetrahedral intermediate, certainly a tetrahedral center. But the point of this is we're, I don't know if you remember, we, we mentioned for acetals we're going to have to lose water. This oxygen um, in the starting aldehyde is the one that we want to lose. And so I circled this one on the upper left. Um, so to to get rid of that oxygen, we need to keep on protonating it when we can. So now it's in, that oxygen is an OH group. I want to protonate it again, but you cannot right now because this molecule is already protonated. So to protonate this, to get the, to be able to reprotonate over here, over here on this oxygen, we need to deprotonate the other oxygen first. Let's get our molecule neutral. Again, reversible. get our molecule neutral, and then this molecule will be basic enough to protonate on the other oxygen. Now, if we want to protonate it, we need a good acid, and so we'll use again our protonated methanol. And now, I told you this oxygen we can go back up to the upper left. This oxygen is the one that we want to get rid of. And now, finally, that oxygen looks like water. And it's going to be a great leaving group, and it's going to leave. Not only is it going to leave, I think it's important to note that these reactions are really fast. And one reason they're fast is because the neighboring oxygen helps to push out the, what's going to be the water oxygen. Now we've lost water at this point. That water goes away, floats off in solution, and now we're left with this weird thing. Now if you look at this, it looks a lot like something else we've seen on this page. And that's up here in the middle. It looks a lot like our strong electrophile. We have an oxygen. Uh, in the top we have an oxygen that's protonated. Down here we have an oxygen. It's not protonated but has an extra R group on it that gives it a positive charge. What happened to this structure at the top? It was attacked. This structure at the bottom, it's also going to be attacked. It's going to be, it's a strong electrophile. It's going to be attacked by whatever weak nucleophiles we have. And we have water in here. There. And now I'm just redrawing everything that came along. And now we have this protonated structure. We're almost done. We're almost at our acetal. And to finish this off, we just need to do a deprotonation. Again, our best base that we have at hand is methanol. And 
and this gets us our acetal. If you were paying attention, along the way, we actually showed a hemiacetal along the pathway. Go back and compare those functional groups and see how they're different. Um, but we made an acetal. What we've done is we've gone from our starting aldehyde in the upper left, and we've replaced the carbonyl oxygen, we've lost that as water, and replaced it with two OCH3 groups, and we did it under this acid catalyzed pathway. And this is a really important mechanism. You need to know this mechanism, have this memorized. It's a long one, takes some work, but once you are memorize, memorize this and are comfortable with it, you'll see how it keeps on popping up in places over and over again.